Hello and welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the hidden truths of the Bible. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most famous and controversial figures in the history of Israel, King Solomon. Solomon was the son of King David and Bathsheba, and he inherited the throne after his father's death. He was known for his wisdom, wealth, and power, but he also had many flaws that led to his downfall. In this video, we will use the biblical passages from the books of 1 Kings and Proverbs to illustrate Solomon's achievements, failures, and lessons. The first thing we need to know about Solomon is that he loved God and sought his wisdom. In the beginning of his reign, he went to Gibeon, where the tabernacle of God was, and offered a thousand burnt offerings to God. That night, God appeared to him in a dream and said, Ask for whatever you want me to give you. Solomon could have asked for anything, but he chose to ask for a discerning heart to govern his people and to distinguish between right and wrong. God was pleased with his request and said, I will give you a wise and discerning heart, so that there will never have been anyone like you, nor will there ever be. Moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for, both wealth and honor, so that in your lifetime you will have no equal among kings. This was the beginning of Solomon's glory. He became famous for his wisdom and his judgments. He wrote books of wisdom such as Ecclesiastes and Proverbs, which are still read and studied today. He received visitors and gifts from many nations, including the Queen of Sheba, who came to test him with hard questions. He built a magnificent palace and temple for God, which took him 7 and 13 years respectively. He also amassed a great fortune of gold, silver, livestock, and other treasures. He had everything he could ever want, but Solomon's success also came with a price. He violated God's commandments and married many foreign women who turned his heart away from God. He had 700 wives and 300 concubines, who influenced him to worship their gods. He built high places for Ashtoreth, Chamosh, Molech, and other false gods, and did evil in the eyes of the Lord. He forgot his first love and his source of wisdom. God became angry with Solomon and said, Since this is your attitude and you have not kept my covenant and my decrees, which I commanded you, I will most certainly tear the kingdom away from you and give it to one of your subordinates. Nevertheless, for the sake of David your father, I will not do it during your lifetime. I will tear it out of the hand of your son, yet I will not tear the whole kingdom from him, but will give him one tribe for the sake of David my servant and for the sake of Jerusalem which I have chosen. God chose Jeroboam, one of Solomon's officials, to rule over ten tribes of Israel. God spoke to Jeroboam through the prophet Ahijah, who tore his cloak into twelve pieces and gave ten to Jeroboam. He said, Take ten pieces for yourself, for this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says, See, I am going to tear the kingdom out of Solomon's hand and give you ten tribes. But for the sake of my servant David and the city of Jerusalem, which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, he will have one tribe. I will do this because they have forsaken me and worshipped Ashtoreth the goddess of the Sidonians, Chamosh the god of the Moabites, and Molech the god of the Ammonites, and have not walked in obedience to me, nor done what is right in my eyes, nor kept my statutes and laws as David, Solomon's father, did. When Solomon heard what God had said, he tried to kill Jeroboam, but Jeroboam fled to Egypt and stayed there until Solomon's death. After Solomon died, his son Rehoboam became king, but he acted foolishly and increased the burden on the people. The people rebelled against him and followed Jeroboam, who became the king of the northern kingdom of Israel. Rehoboam remained the king of the southern kingdom of Judah, but he lost most of his territory and power. Thus, the kingdom of Israel was divided into two, and the glory of Solomon faded away. What can we learn from Solomon's life? We can learn that wisdom is a gift from God, but it is not enough to keep us from sin. We need to love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and obey His commandments. We need to be careful not to be influenced by the world and its idols, but to seek God's kingdom and His righteousness. We need to remember that everything we have comes from God, and we need to use it for His glory and not our own. We need to deal with our weaknesses and repent of our sins, before they destroy us and our legacy. Solomon's life also shows us God's love and justice. God loved Solomon and blessed him, but he also disciplined him and judged him. God did not abandon Solomon, but he also did not tolerate his disobedience. God was faithful to his promises, but he also held Solomon accountable for his actions. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He loves us and wants us to be wise and prosperous, but he also wants us to be holy and righteous. He will reward us for our faithfulness, but he will also correct us for our failures. 
He is a good and gracious God, but he is also a holy and righteous God. We hope that this video has helped you to understand more about Solomon and his life. We encourage you to read the Bible for yourself and discover the hidden truths that God has revealed to us. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more biblical insights. We also welcome your comments and questions, and we will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Let us end this video with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word and your wisdom. We thank you for the life of Solomon and the lessons we can learn from him. We ask you to forgive us for our sins and to help us to love you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We ask you to guide us and to grant us wisdom to make good decisions and to do your will. We ask you to bless us and to use us for your glory and your kingdom. We ask you to protect us and to keep us from evil and temptation. We ask you to fill us with your joy and peace. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.